Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see, I don't have my usual few favorite divas on the main page. Uh, mainly it's because I've been trying to power up or rather level up the rest of the divas um, proficiency or affections um, that have been lacking because well, the the uh, Valkyrie operations are pretty um, restricted as of now. They are not of the five skulls difficulty, so I kind of want to get uh, them maxed out for that first um, before focusing on other things. Anyways, um, so Dana has dropped us one of the saddest Macross Delta songs out there, and of course. Um, Surprisingly enough, it is one of the easiest Delta songs available at this point of time. Even easier than Rune Pika, um, which was supposedly to be the only easy Macross Delta song out there that you can actually full combo on Extreme. Um, yeah, but with Giraffe Blues, you can actually perfect full combo the song easily, uh, especially for those who have been having a hard time learning the game. Um, from the difficulty levels of normal to very hard. Um, extreme for Giraffe Blues isn't ex actually very difficult. Um, there is no tricky notes out there except for the uh, re repeated or rather the fast pace tapping for the three notes that usually happens uh, every ever so often within the live itself. So guys, we're going to talk about this current event uh, special challenge and of course the special banner if you load up if you loaded up Uta Macross after the update at um, what time was it 3 p.m. in Japan uh, that's when usually the event um, brand new events start so you will probably see this particular banner now basically what this means is uh, the rewards that you usually get from playing a live the special resources that you use for unlocking your episode plates and all that uh, they are basically increased at the end of the life uh, by 1.5 times so all players you probably feel like eh, this is not for me um, because my item resource is probably maxed out already but for the newer players this is probably a good thing for you especially when you have insufficient resources to unlock fully all the episode plates that you've gotten from the free gachas uh, every day and probably from all the singing stones that you've tossed into the gacha banners that you've been uh, available to you since you've been started playing. Anyways, let's move on to the, to the special event um, difficulty or challenge um, that you'll face probably from this current event itself. So... For those who have been playing since the event has started, you probably know that you know there is the special icon available um, when it comes to facing certain missions within the event itself. Um, so yeah, that's what all this Japanese text is here for. Basically, when you play an event song that is faced with this particular challenge, um, whenever you miss a note during the live, you will take a lot more damage than you normally would. So for missions that probably need you to require uh, yourself to survive the life with a certain amount of HP, I would highly recommend you to have a center plate um, that heals your life at the end of the entire life itself. So tap that uh, active skill uh, once the song is completed before the clear sign or uh, basically a full combo or a perfect full combo logo comes up just to clear the mission itself uh, that's my basic tip to you guys um, when it comes to facing this current events challenge other than that I will highly recommend you guys to have your divas fully equipped with luck plates because Kaname's resonance costume for this current event is unlockable uh, unlockable free uh, through the episode plates given in the event songs itself. Um, if you are a Kaname fan and you want her costume as fast as possible, well, definitely the current gacha is for you. But let's take a look at the current gacha to see whether actually the episode plate for Kaname's resonant costume is worth the singing stones um, that you're going to toss into. Now, 
We've seen all the episode plates available for all the previous uh, Wakure members before. Now, the sadly to say, all the episode plates for the Wakure resonant costumes tend to be a bit on the uh, mid-tier range. So let's take a look at uh, Kaname's ones first. So let's go straight here. Alright, so total score 3347, focusing on voice as the main. Soul and charm is on the lower end. Units life increases by 20% up. So this is going to help with the um, challenge that is going on currently in the event. But it's not the best center skill out there. Alright then. Oh, so pretty cool that all five Valkyrie members are able to equip Kanami's episode plate. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Alright, active skill. So life recover 50%. So Kanami's active skill is considered on the top tier end of all the recovery plates out there. 50% um, is currently the highest. There hasn't been any episode plate that can actually heal anything more than that. Um, life skill at the 30 second mark for 7 seconds your score is boosted by 80% up so pretty awesome active skill for mission clearing and a pretty awesome life skill or rather a pretty decent because of the duration period it's kind of sad you know because all the new um, episode plays out there with a uh, life skill of score boosting of 80% has a very short duration period right now um, probably you have to consider like when it's activated, like when is the, the activation period. Then of course the duration of the skill, how, how long will it last. You know, depends on the song. I think 7 seconds is okay if the song was a very short song. Um, and of course looking at the duration, maybe it activates, activates later into the song or near end of the song but 30 seconds is probably close to the mid of the middle of the song so that's when the Valkyrie um, phase is probably gonna happen that kind of thing so you might want to arrange your episode plates accordingly to time of activation and the duration they are gonna last if you want to get the best out of them for your high score purposes alright so sadly to say this is another Kaname plate that doesn't have a uh, special note attached to it. Most of the time Kanami's plates tend to have special items or special notes attached to them but this time around for the resonance one uh, it doesn't come with it. So if you want to consider this plate a very useful plate I think it's okay. Um, it's definitely an okay plate to get. It's not the worst of the worst out there. It is a very mid-tier level episode plate so if you're if you're a pro Utami Cross player um, this plate is definitely not worth your singing stones. Um, you definitely want to keep them for something of a more higher tier. But for Kanami fans, this is definitely a plate worth obtaining. Um, especially if you want to have a diva setup of full Kanama, Kanamama, <laughs> Kanami plates. Uh, yes, Kanamama is a thing. So, um, yeah, a full setup of Kaname plates on all your divas um, is pretty awesome. Uh, definitely worth to have it in your collection if you're a Kaname fan. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at the rest of the episode plates that are available. Ray Ray's plate is definitely there. So, yeah, pretty awesome, you know, score boosting an episode plate because it's like 14 seconds duration, but it, it goes by combo. So, if you kind of mess up the combo, you're going to have it activated later. That kind of thing. So if you're wondering if if you happen to go past the 50 combo mark and the skill activates and you break your combo and you obtain again another 50 combo mark, sadly to say the skill will not activate because it's a one-time thing only. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah. So definitely worth obtaining Ray Ray's plate. This is one of the best high score plates out there currently because it comes with the score note. Um, so yeah, this gacha is looking uh, pretty attractive at this point of time. Uh, Kanami's plate is pretty mediocre, but Reina's plate is definitely worth um, obtaining if you can actually get it. Um, sadly to say, this is around, so um, not the best Cheryl plate out there. It's one of the worst episode plates out there. <laughs> um, for Kanami's plates, this one is pretty decent. Not the best in terms of um, the special notes because it only gives 5 points. Um, currently, the best points for the notes is actually 15 out there which is also belonging to Kaname so guys yeah um, yeah then of course we have the exclusive um, 4 star episode plate that evolves into a 5 star 
yeah so pretty awesome if you actually got this um kanami fans definitely want to obtain it anyway guys i only have enough singing stones for one template pool so let's just do that um i don't expect to get the costume unlocked for kanami so quickly unless you give me extra plates for it and i'll definitely be very thankful um I probably will unlock Kanami's plate at the end of the event uh, if I don't get her episode plate from the gacha draw itself. So yeah, uh, alright, so let's do this one ten plate pool and that's it. Okay, I just realized that I forgot to turn on the audio um, for the recording, so my bad on that. Anyway guys, let's do this, uh, hopefully we'll get something nice from the gacha itself. Um, but. From the previous experience, uh, the roller coaster for Utah Records Gacha is kind of obvious, so I tend to maybe expect something not so fantastic this time round. And I'm right. <laughs> so the first bling we got nothing and two red boxes, but there's still always the chance to get um, well the red boxes to evolve. So. Hopefully, just hopefully. Anyways, we can always expect maybe to get the exclusive plates as well. Red boxes aren't entirely bad, so here's the first one. And Hayate! Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is new. I've not seen this before. I think it is new. Alright, here's the second one. So, no evolution. Uh, okay, I think I've not gotten this before. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, so the Cheryl plate is brand new. Oh, we do get to see the Hayate's plate evolved though, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so nothing fantastic, a pretty dull, boring template pool. Uh, anyways guys, um, that's pretty much all the information I have for you guys as of now. Uh, and as always, uh, for all the Kaname fans out there, hopefully you guys have better luck than I do um, with this gacha pool and hopefully you are able to obtain your waifu's episode plate of course to add it to your collection and unlock her resonance costume uh, straight away so you can see all the special exclusive stuff um, if there is any um, when you use it within the current events um, song so yeah anyway guys um, I'm preparing myself to start off a new Let's Play series on the Macross Space Time The Culture Facebook group. Um, hopefully, um, I'll be able to do it by the following week or so, because I've just recently got my gotten my capture card. Um, as of today that I'm recording this video, I already have the capture card in my room. I'm just gonna have to find some time to set up, you know, everything to do all the live streaming and all this. Uh, in the future, so yeah, um, what I'm planning to do is basically to start off a brand new Uta Macross con uh, account uh, and of course to uh, play alongside with you guys uh, if possible through a live stream then we can communicate and discuss things um, through the live stream itself if you have any inquiries you can ask me if you're just too shy to write them down in the comments down below of each video that I upload <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's actually more fun to interact as a community together um, through live streams and all that. So I've been trying to aim for that um, ever since for a while. Anyway guys, um, hopefully you guys have fun watching this very sad pool or maybe find some of the information I shared um, informative. Uh, hopefully you guys have way better stuff than I do. Uh, maybe even from, with a god draw with a single pool. Who knows? Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!